What did you have for lunch? Okay. Is Rahul audible? All sound. Rahul, good afternoon. Good afternoon. And thank you for coming down to the Chrome DM Coffee Privilege. office. Good to see you. I always thought you were much younger. I'm glad to know you are a year older. Yeah. Huh? I hope I There's sound. something. I right hope I sound doing. mature. Uh, it's always good not to look mature. <laughs> but I just hope I sound mature. <laughs> good afternoon, Rahul. So I want to ask you some very general stuff. Yeah. So let's stay out of politics and any any particular news section. I want to understand what does it take, in your opinion, to resonate. With the Indian audiences today, how do you guys? Because it's a it's a battle. There are 313 active news channels, right? They are all competitors, and not only news. There are different genres that you guys compete with. What does it take to be relevant every single day with your audiences? Look, uh, I consider myself more of a jobbing editor. Yeah. And when you are doing what I do, I approach every news day with a with an ideological plan. as an editor you must be able to leave a certain imprint on the way you treat news yeah so i definitely have a position in mind for the channel i think that in itself puts you in a usp a yeah. large number of channels uh, in this country by the hour become different things yeah times now is consistent yeah it has three basic usps it breaks news it breaks with impact and it sits in an ideological box yeah. so we did a dipstick on what resonates with audience in terms of breaking news you guys take a lead in terms of consumer perception on being the first to break news does that entail a lot of money and investments no and it i'm asking you time it entails passion okay you see new sources are uh, mostly common to everyone yeah. what it takes is the passion daily basis to be number 1 with the news. Yeah. We are a hardcore news channel. Yeah. We eschew entertainment, sport, we focus on hard news. Yeah. And I'm not saying hard news is political news. Yeah. While that is actually a predominant emphasis on times now, I'm talking about news that resonates with the viewer, affects yeah. and changes lives yeah. of the people, the viewers who are watching times now. Yeah. For me, that's premium. I don't yeah. get distracted. Yeah. Our team doesn't get distracted. We have a morning meetings. We have six meetings right. through the day. We're focused on what we want to do. We structure our day according to uh, news wheels. We break stories exclusively, and if they're coming in immediately, I'm on WhatsApp. From you've got a WhatsApp from, editorial group. That's what I'm thinking. Absolutely, and I go rushing in and I write the lines myself. Yes. Sometimes on the ticker. Sometimes I'm doing it uh, on air yeah. in jackets and you know the top bands, etc. Yeah. So we have a very very open floor, very lateral newsroom. uh you see me most often bashing out lines right and i take pride in setting the agenda brilliant so you are a number one on bark and chrome as well on 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 overall channel share if you were to look at the audiences which is 22 plus which is the primary right tg for for you guys uh, does it bother you because every channel in the business claims to be number one on different parameters how do you tackle that look i know that people splice and dice data uh It doesn't bother us because I think Times now lets its uh, journalism do the talking. We're a channel of maximum impact. When I break a story, within minutes, other channels pick up those stories. Yeah. In fact, what bothers me is when other channels don't follow our lead. So that means they're not watching you. They're not replicating you. They're not replicating. Wow, that's a that that that, that actually bothers me. I don't yeah. really care about the numbers at the end of the day. I'm not thinking about numbers. I mean, yeah. it's a it's a massive overstatement on part of some of our critics who say, "Oh, Times now fits its editorial agenda." to basically rile up its TV TVT. So there's nothing, nothing nothing to do with that. We go with instinct and we have an ideological position yeah. on the news. But listen Rahul, sorry to cut you. You will be getting pressures, right? There there are pressures, political pressures, commercial pressures. Of course. You, how do you tackle that? So you get a call from from the ruling party saying that listen we want this to be done. Do you get those kind of calls? Ransom calls? Absolutely. How do you tackle them? And it's not just the ruling party, the opposition, social media. Today the pressures are coming from abstract uh, you know fly by night operating uh, you know uh, uh, websites yeah web magazines yeah. who write all sorts of articles on you you know go into your story rip you apart this that look at the end of the day they're doing what they have to do i yeah. am doing what i have to do and as long as my fidelity to quality yeah and most importantly the fact remains yeah, yeah. i don't care because yeah. we haven't had i'll tell you for all the criticism that we cop i don't get legal suits you don't that means that means what we are saying 
is the absolute truth. Wow. Okay. I mean, there have been times in the past. Okay, on the contrary, I thought you would be getting like legal suits every no, single day, no. every channel. I'm talking about Trust. defamation suits. Okay. You know, there will be people who might sue you on other aspects. You know, yeah. business, this, that, the other, yeah. whatever. You. I mean, I don't care about all yeah. of that. It's not under my rent. Yeah. But there will obviously be people who might want to sue you for yeah. the heck of it to prove a point to their constituencies. True. But can they actually mount an effective case against you? Yeah, they that's can't. the test. So that's right? the reason why they detest from going into it. The exactly. Case. So as long as my loyalty to my viewer is not challenged, yeah, perceptorially in the sense that I'm not fooling the viewer, not yeah. misleading the viewer, putting yeah. out rhetoric, not fact. Yeah, I'm okay. Absolutely. I take this criticism. Absolutely. Raul, does noise work? Noise on studios. So I'll tell you what. From a consumer point of view, I'll give you from the research side. Sure. Television is primarily entertainment. No one wants to be educated, right? You don't look at TV as an encyclopedia. So as long as you're entertainment, you're going to be watched. Is news following the same trend, saying that listen, if you cannot break news, serious news, people don't watch it, right? So we get into entertainment and we get into theatrics. Everyone questions news today of being complete noise. Who are you referring to? I'm I'm referring to criticism. I'm referring to uh, many channels. I'm referring to your competition as well, uh, right? Which one? So, uh, I don't want to name any brand, but uh, so there are multiple brands, multiple channels who, okay. who so resort to noise. Here's how we and I'm I'm asking you as well. Okay, so here is how we play this out, and it's very simple from where I stand. I believe that one has to raise one's voice, yeah, to be heard in a noisy democracy. Okay, have you seen our parliament? Yeah. Does anyone talk and turn in parliament? So is that is that noise in a genuine argument no, or hang a on. difference so of point? Or I is it making noise for theatrics? No. So that's where we have to draw the distinction. When Times Now goes into a story to make noise, it goes armed with fact, not rhetoric. Right. We don't spin the news right. beyond the facts. I just don't go there and say, let's bomb be okay. Yeah, and there are editors who've done this, and yes. there are journalists you and proprietors. On news every day, and at nine o'clock, some guys go on air and they say, "Let's take off P O K." And one guy, I saw his clip, and I was shocked. <laughs> said that we love war, we love war, we want war because the Pakistani guys were asking this chap, "Listen, why are you speaking irresponsibly? This entails a nuclear conflict." No, we love war. We will come in so there. Immature. It's immature. That is so immature. Now there is always. Room for the Jerry Springers in news TV. There are certain Jerry Springers of news TV, and people will watch them. Yeah. Because of the theatrics. Yeah. I don't grudge them that. Yeah. That's their lookout. Yeah. If that's the way they want to go out, being uh, you know, that's the, that's their legacy. No, but the fact is that if you are a number one across the most robust TG, right, and competition without naming them, uh, which resorts to news, uh, to noise. Right, so noise really does not work, right? Theatrics do not work. Theatrics doesn't. Yeah. Raising your voice, making a hard point, directing at authority, yeah. questioning those that are in the wrong works. Yes. Now there are many tools about that you go about doing this. The most important tool that you have is a sharp argument. Yes. And the sharp question and the hard fact. I do a show which is based only on hard facts. When I begin my show. I list out the hard facts. Now you yeah. can draw your conclusions from those facts. Lawyers do that every day. Those are hard facts. Two sides. They approach the hard facts and they say, "Look, we have a." And they can shout about it. They can scream about it. But we won't have 15 windows on our channel or 20 windows because, hey, you know, that's because Correct. we want to be seen so as. So let me ask you another gladiatorial. one. If if I told you as as a, as as a research guy or as a commercial head of of Times that listen, if you were to run a three hours band purely on entertainment. Right, and we just run entertainment and get Bollywood news and Hollywood gossip, package it into a show, and give it the color of news and run it, and that would outscore the prime time news as well. Would you go for it? No, that's okay. not our DNA. As I told you, fact, hard news that can change and affect your life is what matters to me. Yeah. I'm in this business, I'm in this profession to make a difference, to change lives, to improve lives. Benefit the viewer, improve his ease of living. Yeah. Question authority. Yes. I'm not in that business. There you are many people walking out of the studios business. on debates. Many times, many they times do. do because they can't take the hard question based on a hard fact. Right. See, if it was rhetoric. Do you have any pa parties that have boycotted your channel? Plenty. They do that. Periodically, certain parties get upset. They walk off. The Congress, for example. How do you get them back? 
we let our journalism do our do, do us you know do the speaking for so us so they realize it's a they platform realize to be on they realize that you know first of all it's too big to ignore and if they are then they're going to sort of you know it's not going to serve them well it's and, not in and their the interest and the synergy of the times group so you've got the print side itself which is a huge that's right piece. and and every every product of ours is differentiated in some ways yeah. so so we have this kind of you know obvious antagonism that we get from the powerful and the mighty yeah but you know you don't bow yeah yeah you take it on your chin so is is this digital thing with reliance you now coming in right 5g and with digital now globally beating the overall time spent on linear tv are you facing the hit of course we all have to uh, you know change with the times times now times is always in the present now and if exactly in the now and if it means that you have to evolve and become a different beast and a different kind of product we are out there doing it already so we we are not sticking to an old frame old notion i think the most innovation that takes place on news tv takes place on times now whether it is sets whether it is production quality whether it is innovation with the way we take the news and put it out in your hands it all starts at times now action always begins here absolutely is news a threat now because anything you want to know you just press a button on google now yeah right and you know exactly what is happening now on real time right you got platforms on digital right yeah. does that pose a huge threat to the, to these huge investments that we have on on linear news Look, broadcast it is it is a problem yeah you know it is going to be a, even a bigger problem but i fundamentally believe that on big news events people come together as a community yes they will still want to watch in front of a television set yes and there are enough big news events in india i mean yeah. just in this week you're going to have five major supreme court judgments including the ram mandir i don't think people are going to sit in silos in metros or in cars or in cabs yeah. and watch it and consume it they want to talk about it they want to sit with yeah. pankaj and in your family you might have also seen that when yeah. there's a big news day yeah. four or five people sit in front of the tv they might be yeah. you know uh, osmotically sort of interacting with the anchors shouting abuses at that anchor yeah. or questioning the news or whatever and talking amongst themselves yeah. because it's a community exercise yeah. so i think tv retains that focus yes. and i think so I, to add to what you're saying is television itself in india yeah. in india specifically with some 206 million homes yeah. on tv the base is so huge that it's it's here it's here it's here to stay yes uh, and the second argument also holds for print by that logic because everything is there on a phone and you don't need to spend anything print still works people still buy newspapers the biggest shows are on tv the biggest Absolutely. ads are on television and on print exactly so i think that's that's the so i think mean. we have a very robust media yeah. and i think traditional mainstream media is here to stay yeah and i think uh because of the one great advantage we have over social media which is that there is much more room for interactivity very quickly instantaneously almost uh we score yes so you are certainly personifying the news yeah uh text doesn't personify news yeah it doesn't bring faces into you right. into your collective imagination right. you know so i think that's why tv scores image always yeah. scores video will compete but it's very difficult and you're synergizing the same content that you produce for linear onto yeah, digital that's right? true. so you've got we, a parallel do that you know? yes we do that and is that picking up with the digital feed picking yes up? it is in fact uh, uh, times now uh, news uh, timesnow.com is doing fantastically well we are now in the top 5 uh, we are thinking within the next 1 uh, year to even eclipse times of india so that's that's the agenda that we've set for ourselves uh, we've got uh, millions of follow- followers on twitter it's actually the most times now is the most followed news channel in this country Country, right by leaps and bounds uh and i think that is a testament to the jobs we do every day and the new stories we bring out and the exclusives we bang on with very well put out i think as long as being in the news business is about influencing impacting lives and communicating what really matters to them i think it's a it's a fantastic uh, thing uh, to be in right so that's about it so thank you so much rahul Good thank chatting you. up with you. Great, was. You didn't have the Chrome Talkies branding. Oh, you were supposed to take There the cup go. and you know keep yeah, getting okay. the branding going left, There right, and center. Chrome Talkies. Cup of tea. Cheers, keep Rahul. Keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> I want to say keep walking. <laughs>